Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. The title of today's message is, Now is the Time. Our lesson text will be taken from Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verse number one. And we will be reading this verse from the King James Version. And it reads, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Time is a temporary element of life. God measures life in terms of fulfilled purpose. Therefore, everything and everyone has a God-ordained purpose. If, and how we respond to his call will not only determine the character of our days here on earth, but it will also determine our destiny. Amen. In order to reach our destiny, we must be willing to walk with God. The good thing is, if we do mess up, we can be like Jonah and repent. We can ask God to forgive us, and God will help us out of the mess we made. Mm -hmm. And he can turn our mess into a message. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he can turn our mess into a miracle. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of course, it would be better if we heeded God's word and be obedient to what God says to do. And that way, we wouldn't have to learn the hard way. And we could spare ourselves a lot of trouble and pain. But God has a way of changing the direction of our lives when we begin walking with him. We want to see the whole picture. But God wants us to step out on faith. Yes. Whatever it is that he's always spoken to you to do, he wants you to step out on faith and do it. Leave your comfort zone and go to the next level in him. Yes. Some of us know exactly what God has already spoken to us about. Some of us, God is calling us to a new time, a new place, and we aren't willing to step out on faith. But this is your time today. Mm, we are deceived in thinking things will get better where we are. Things will never get better when we do things our way right. instead of God's way. Invented thoughtlessly, anger can hurt others and destroy relationships. Amen. If bottled up inside, it can cause us to become bitter and destroy us from within. So it's not always that a person might be um, venting their anger thoughtlessly. A person could be holding their anger inside, not saying a word, with the grin plastered on their face. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Paul tells us to deal with our anger immediately in a way that builds relationships rather than destroying them. It must be determined to follow Jesus with no turning back. Amen. The best is yet to come. Amen. This is not your stopping place. Amen. Paul maintained the confidence that he had in the testimony of God, and he remained faithful to his call to the end. Yes. And that's what we should do. Run from start to finish. Amen. Be faithful Amen. to the call that God has on your life. Yes. Be committed to the end. You got to sing yourself happy sometimes. Mm -hmm. You got to talk yourself happy sometimes. You got to encourage yourself that's right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You got hope, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our redemption draws nigh. Yes. We're sealed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Of redemption. Glory be to God. So when, when we're walking with God, y'all, we got a new direction. Yes. We got a new disposition. Yes. Yes. We got new Lord. communication. Yes. We got a new determination. Yes. And we have a new destination. Ooh, Knowing God Hallelujah. is personal. Hallelujah. Ooh, Hallelujah. Knowing God is powerful. Yes. Knowing God yes. is life changing. Yes. Yes. We're being changed yes. by yes. the power Thank of God's you. word and by the power Jesus. of the Holy Spirit. Regardless of what you did or did not do up to this point, you can begin today to use your time, talents, gifts, money, resources, opportunities, right. and yourself mm -hmm. to the glory of God and press on because now is a time. It's a time of advancing forward in Christ. It's a time of manifestation, a time of fulfillment, a time of breakthrough, a time of taking back all that the enemy has stolen from you. Yeah. Now is the yeah, time to Lord. take it back in the name of Jesus. We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, 
And we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.